On the day I was born, the doctor told my mother it's a girl. I was brought up as a girl because of what society thinks. You too. Why would I choose to live a life of constant pain, taking the risk of losing my loved ones and also being discriminated against? What I wish for Jamaica is for persons to be willing to learn the difference between sex and gender. Because after all, Jamaica is my home. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You know me, my boy Tony, and I'm here again with another video. Alright, so in today's video, I will be doing a continuation of the previous video that I did about um, 24 things that that I've learned in 24 years. So I did part one, I did part two, now this is part three. Um, I was supposed to do this video for my birthday week, however, um, because of some space issues with phones, I was unable to do the video, right? So in this video, I will be doing the continuation. All right, all right, so let's get right into the video. So number 17 you don't have to medically transition to be trans all right so a lot of persons think that you have to medically transition to be trans which you don't have to medical transition because i mean some trans person will never um medically transition some because maybe they because of a personal reasons could be because of medical reasons um it could be because they can't afford it it can be a lot of reasons why trans person would decide not to transition i remember that the trans umbrella transgender is just an umbrella term you have trans man you have trans woman you have trans you have you have um, gender non-conforming you have gender fluid a gender non-conforming person a gender fluid might not necessarily want to transition because um they're not conforming to any gender a gender fluid person today they feel like female tomorrow they feel like male so they will they might not want to transition medical transition so might do it so it's a personal choice no, um, the moment you do, the moment that you realize that you're trans, you are trans. You are trans. You don't become trans. You are always trans, but you just realize that at this time you are trans, right? So you don't need to medical transition to be trans. That's point blank. There are things going around that people are saying that you need to medical transition to be trans because you'll be you still you still be um, looking like the gender that you are assigned. But at the end of the day, right? Um, transgender being transgender is uh, is in the brain it's not how you physically look right and point blank you just don't need to transition to be trans because if you're saying that you have the transition to be trans then a lot of persons will not be embracing yourself because um, trans medically transitioning can be expensive and a lot of persons can't afford it you know so um, it could be what about a person that can't transition because medical transition because of medical reasons so you're going to tell that person that they're not trans because of something that they have no control over right the moment that you the moment that you realize that you're trans you're trans the moment that you you embrace the fact that you're trans you're trans you are you were already trans from your born but i mean you didn't realize that until a particular time right so yeah so that's number 17 number 18 it's okay to work at your own pace Right, um, I realized that because there was a time in my life that I felt like I needed to level up to everybody that's around me, or I needed to level up to persons. I needed to always be on that level with everybody else. Like if I'm, I'm if I'm below anybody, I feel like I'm less than, right? And everybody work on your own pace. Everybody's growth is different. It's okay to work at your own pace. It's okay to grow in your own pace. It's okay to accomplish things on your own pace. I mean, what I would accomplish in two years might take five years for another person to accomplish. All right, and what that person might be, and what I will can accomplish in two years might take one year for a person to accomplish. So I mean, it all depends on how you're comfortable. It all depends on how you can maneuver things, right? You don't have to feel like you have to level up with everybody. Everybody is different. Nobody, there, there's no two persons that are the same. That means what I can do, you might, you might not be able to do it. And what I can do in one day, as I stated, might take two days for you to do. And that doesn't mean that you're less than. Put it in the transgender world. Persons transition in their teens, right? Persons might not be able to transition until they're 50. 
I am transitioning, I'm 24, and I've started transitioning. Um, I'll start to transition when I'm 22. Yeah, because I started transition in April. Um, the November, I would have been 23. Yeah, so I started transitioning when I'm 22, right? And a lot of persons might my transition my started transitioning when they are 30 50 60 i mean it all depends on what you can accomplish and what you can handle and, and doing something slower than a person does not make you less than a person maybe i doing something say i'm doing something in, and i finish in five years right and you are struggling to do this you're struggling to do that and at the end of the day you realize that five years come and you're not accomplished you're not accomplishing this you're not accomplishing that who can tell that when you reach your peak you have accomplished more than i have come more than I, I have accomplished so at the end of the day it's no rush to do to, to accomplish anything there's no rush to do anything do everything on your own pace be comfortable in your own skin be comfortable riding the wave on your own pace right it's okay to do things on your own pace right so that's number 18 um number 19 it's okay to feel what matters is what you do after you feel yes it's okay to feel there's no person on this earth that can tell you that they have never failed the 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 most successful persons in life has failed many times and the difference with them is that when they fail they did not sit down and lay down in, in their in their failure and just weep and mourn and all these things they did not do that what they did was that they they they, they took that that failure as an example of what not to do the next time they they took that failure as as a as a, as a as a as a reason to 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 pursue whatever they were pursuing they took that failure as a reason to be victorious the next time and they might do the next time and they still fail but the difference is that maybe the thing that they did they did to fail the second time they didn't do it the second time they didn't do the the thing that they did to, to fail the first time the second time they didn't do they didn't do that same thing but they might have done something else that caused them to fail but at the end of the day failure is not the end failure is failure is examples Failure is, is just something that you can look back on and say, I failed this, but I became victorious. It's okay to fail. As I stated, it doesn't matter. It, it's, nothing is wrong with failing. What's wrong is when you sit down in your failure and you decide that I fail and I fail and you mourn and you weep and you, 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 you throw up into party because what you fail. Failing is at the end of the world. Get back up, brush off yourself and ride the waves. That's it. Right? Number 20. It's never too late to go after your dreams. Yes, it's never too late to go after your dreams. Um, you, I, I'm sure you guys have heard of stories of persons that finish university at 50. Finish, I, I think I read a story of a, of a woman that finished uni, university at 90. And I think it was university. I don't remember. But they, 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 did, uh, they finished something that the younger person that would more than likely finish. Right? And they, they took them years, maybe because of some fallback, they didn't get to, to do this. And they did not give up. They do what they have to do and they go after their dreams. It's never too late to go after your dreams. It's never too late. Right? I have dreams that I want to go after. And I'm saying to myself, it doesn't matter how long it takes for me to get those dreams done. I'm going to do it because it's never too late. It goes back. It goes back to... The point that I stated, um, it goes back to the point that said it's okay to work at your own pace. Um, my accomplishments might be might come longer. It might take a, another person to, um, faster to do my accomplishments that I've accomplished in years. Look at me. I am my own owner. I'm my own owner. I'm a home owner. Sorry, I'm a own home owner at 24. Persons might not be a own owner until they are. 30 50 it all depends it, it i mean me being a own owner a own a 
sorry guys, sorry, sorry. Me being a home owner at this age doesn't make you less of a person because you're not a own home and maybe you are older than me. Right? Again, it all uh, everybody's at different stages in your life. Everybody f goes after their dreams different ways. It's okay to go after your dreams late. I mean, <laughs> not do, let me not say late. It's never too late. Never too late. You might think it's too late, or other person might think, "Why are you doing this? And you're so old. Why are you doing this? You should have done that long years ago. You should have done that." But guess what? Your journey in life, my journey is different than your journey. Your journey may be smooth. My journey may be rocky. It could be the other way around. My journey may be smooth. Your journey may be rocky. Everybody has a different journey in life. And whatever you, whatever, whatever your journey is, whatever your timeline is, is okay. That's point blank. Right? Next thing, some trans men like penetration. I did a video um, about this already. Um, I think I did a video about this already. And I will try to link that video um in the description but yes the video that i did about transgender and pregnant yes i did state that some trans men love penetration um they enjoy penetration being trans does not mean you will not to use you'll not want to use the sex organ that you're assigned at birth um being trans doesn't mean that you will not like to have vaginal sex um it doesn't mean that right you can be a trans man a trans woman can like to use her penis same way as a trans man can like to use his vagina at the end of the day your organs does not define you and so if you feel comfortable using your organs then fine so yes trans men some trans men love penetration when i found out that people i was shocked because i did I, I didn't think that i mean if you hate your body I, why would you want to do that? But again, not all trans men that hate their body. Not all transgender persons hate their body. So it goes right back to that. Alright? It goes right back to that. So yes, as shocking as it might be for most of you, and I say most of you, for some of you, yes, some trans men like penetration. Alright, you can have a masculine trans woman. Alright, put it this way. The definition of a butch lesbian is a masculine woman right right so the same way you can have a cis woman that's masculine you can have a trans woman that's masculine there's nothing wrong with that you have trans women that are lesbians and they play the they they, they, they you would say that they are the masculine person in their relationship right you can say that so masculinity does not define your gender identity it doesn't so at the end of the day yes you can have a masculine trans woman still you can have a masculine cis woman you can have a masculine trans woman and you have a lot of masculine trans women out there and it's a thing it's okay nothing is wrong with it right all right um number 23 it's never too young or too old to transition Yes, it's never too. I think I shared this already about uh, a trans man that's 50 and he was asking if it's too late to transition. It's never too late. It's never too late to transition. It's never too young. You're never too young to transition and you're never too old to transition. A person, a lot of person might argue to say that a, a, a trans, a young child should not transition. It goes right back to say there's a difference between um there's a difference between medical medically transition and socially transition a young child cannot medically transition no doctor would, would prescribe that right but the young child can socially transition they can go by their preferred name they can go by their preferred preferred pronouns they can dress the way they feel comfortable and that's a part of social transitioning so it's never too young to social you're never too young to transition social transition that is um and you're never too late to medical transition or even social transition you're never too you're never too young you're never too old right and i've learned that in 24 years and yeah 24 labels don't define your sexual orientation 
yes labels don't define your sexual orientation right um i think there, i was having a debate in a particular group um a trans man group that i have the other day and this is a conversation that has been going around with um butch butches that have sex with men right and um a lot of persons saying that she's not a lesbian because she she has sex with men but again sexual orientation and romantic romantic sexual attraction and romantic attraction are two different things so she might be sexually attracted to a man but she's not romantic attraction to a man and because she's not romantically attracted to that man or to any man at all then she wouldn't be bisexual she wouldn't be straight um you get you understand she is a lesbian because she's only romantic attracted to females right and because the person is a butch um you might say that shouldn't be the case and i mean that she shouldn't be a butch then if she did doing that i mean persons can label themselves how them feel like label themselves that's what I'm saying. I can label myself how I feel comfortable labeling myself. And who are you to tell me that me labeling myself that particular way is not a thing? Because sexuality is fluid. Um, labels come and go. That's why you have a lot of persons that don't label themselves because you have... Everybody is saying that they don't want to be in a box. But yet you put persons in a box. Right? You put a lot of persons in a box that don't, that don't really need to go in a box. You understand? I mean, your labels is how you feel comfortable labeling yourself and there's no one there's no one definition for a label everybody have a different definition for every different label so what sense i mean you see where your label doesn't define your sexual orientation your label doesn't define your your gender identity either at the end of the day you label yourself how you feel comfortable labeling yourself and that's it that's just it all right guys so that's the end of the 24 things that i learned in 24 years Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And all the points that I have made, if you guys want to say anything about it or give me any ideas of video ideas that you have. Because I have I have um, some video ideas that I have that I'm working on to give you guys content. But if you guys decide that you want something, that you want to hear me talk about something, drop it in the comments. You can, do a, you can comment about this video. Any point that I have made, um, you can go ahead and comment about it. Um, don't forget, as I stated, don't forget to like. If you're new and you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. And that's it, guys. Peace. What I wish for Jamaica is for persons to be willing to learn the difference between sex and gender. Because after all, Jamaica is my home.